Only one so far at a time. Okay. Mine. Okay, so I'll press that. And then I oop. I wonder if by putting it down in one area. going to open up uh, other areas. I guess we'll see. Well. <laughs> guess we'll soon find out. through that area. to open. Now we just need the, uh, the third one. Where could it be now? Where could it be now? Not there. As well check this area ish. Okay, and already went down there. Anything this way? Did I already go down there? No, no, no. This reminded me of a different area. Ignore me. Ignore me. That one? Oh, I definitely need to get her anyway. Gotta get that Chum Lee egg. Chum Lee! There you are. There you 
you are, you little bitch. <laughs> Offed up by chums when playing themselves into the ground. Oh, okay, so this is interesting. So this came up because I started again from the save. But I've already seen that message once. Interesting. It's a, a little bit janky if I do say so. A little bit janky. Hmm. Where to go? Guess it couldn't hurt to explore this area a little bit more. We've already got the one from in here. <clears throat> there like one outside that I'm just not <clears throat> seeing like in this general area I don't know ah uh, maybe oh there it is I did it. All right. Oh, 20. Monumental stone top. An incredibly crafted piece of ritual clothing. It is awkward to wear, but hard to take your eyes off. seem faster seems a little faster to me maybe it's just me Okay, it's still it's still a ways. It's still a ways. Time to get a megaton, I guess. Oh, 
we Wow I do, but it's probably for some fetch mission. Ecria. Oh, is that a fucking swamp? That is a swamp. I did not know. Need something fast, reliable? Both neither. We've got all sorts of bike parts just for you, Glider. What's going on? Power in town is down. Please have a quick ride out of here now. Uh, ride out right now. Please have a quick ride out right now. Lots of folks are looking to head out if things don't get back to normal soon. Take care. It's a giraffe bike. Cool. Very cool. You, Glider, my name is Maz. I have a problem, and I wonder if you could help me. His voice like burnished steel, despite the softness he tries to inject into his entreaty. The tone of a man more used to orders than requests. I gesture for him to continue. I can at least hear him out. It's my son. He sighs. He's being held by the Akreen Guard. They caught him tampering with the water supply. He puts up a hand to reassure me, before I can speak any doubt. He was only trying to tap the supply, not taint it. He aimed to bring us a better supply of water, one that would benefit us immensely. Is that really a crime? By a Korean law it is illegal, yes, but if we followed a Korean law, we would all die of thirst, waiting on some functionary to make the slightest effort. He sighs and crosses his arms, taking a step back. It is hard to tell if he is really def if he is actually defeated or if he is just trying to amp down some rising hope. I won't work to convince you. If it sounds like too much, I understand. But I need but someone needs to stand against this, and for several reasons, it can't be me. Not this time. Can you help? I'll help. I'm not sure what to expect. Uh, what I expect, but the solemn nod I receive catches me off guard. He steps close to me and places a hand on my shoulder. There is something else. Something you must know, and that I hope will not break the bond we've made. Have you ever heard of the Shade of Ecria? No. The Shade of Ecria? A hero of the people, and a bane of those who would subjugate them. Dark as the night itself, smooth as black silk, and fueled by the flames of vengeance, a legend in this wretched city. 
But who asked the guard, or those who line their pockets, the shade is a menace and a smuggler. Ask what he thinks. I think he was a man doing his best to right the wrongs of the powerful, but I might be biased. I think you might be the shade, and I think we'll find out later down the track. I am the shade of Ecria. I barely have time to look impressed before he adds. And for today, so are you. Oh, so I am Spartacus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I retired, I hit the mask of the shade. But even though the shade was gone, the rumors, the legend persisted. A glider could not convince the guards to free my son, but the shade? Oh, at the mere sight of him, they're liable to give you whatever you want. Maz points to the marking on a nearby wall. See this? Head to the town gate and look for this symbol. It will lead you to the mask. Collect the mask and return to me. Then we stage the rescue. Farewell, glider. So, uh, where's that, uh, marking at? You talking about this? You talking about that? What marking on the wall? You, you, you. Garay is a climber in Ecria. He smells awful and his mask is about to fall off. Goodbye. Oh. He's a stinky boy. Just say no to stinky boy. Josh. The whole of Ecria is on edge. Not good for business, I tell you. Even my regulars aren't coming now. I would like to trade with you. There's been a bit of a ruckus around the power supply into the town. There ain't none. Rumors of all sorts going around. Maybe it was the merchants in the town. Maybe it was an outsider. I'm sure the townies would love to blame, to blame us, Sarai. Luckily, outside, outside a business for fruit is still going. A bit slower, but Sarai didn't have to worry too much about power out here. Goodbye. No, give me your fruit. Give me your fruit. Give me your fruit. Melancholy mushroom. Hmm. Shy Ridgewood pulp. Hmm. I can sell these, but I feel like I can hold on to them as well. Like they have their uses. Oh, you're a, you're a chicken chicken. That's cool. Oh, that looks nice. Fucking hell. Can we adjust the camera, please? Oh no, what am I going to do? They've lost power in town. The merchants have started hiking their prices, and now I can't afford my tea. Jesus. Buck, buck, buck. Delicious chicken. Right, we've talked to everyone, I believe. I believe. That's the mask, huh? I can't tell if it's like the um, the sound in the um, the game glitching out or if it's my headphones. I think it's the, the game in this instance. The big ass city.
Hmm. <clears throat> oh, I see. They're guarding the prisoner. here nothing for your boy <clears throat> oh and nothing for your boy Hasma is the machinist in Ecria. He's busy tidying up the workshop. It looks like someone has ransacked the place. What can I do for you, Glider? What happened here? Hamza explains that this happened a few nights ago. He's got no idea who did it, but this should be related to the power going out. Maybe. He seems more resigned than concerned about having his workshop ransacked and indicates that he doesn't know who or why someone would do such a thing. I'm not sure I'm convinced by his ignorance, but I let it go. Anything else I can help you with? Let's have a look, shall we? Let's make it green. Oh, that glitched out a bit. Interesting. And again, it's glitched out. Yeah, glitched. Okay. Find a glitchy. Oh. Yeah, city. My impression thus far feels like an unfinished game in parts. It's being held together by its aesthetic and its decent-ish story. I meet a chime maker named Aeon. That's who we need to see. Ah, you have the husks that Ifa promised me. Here's a little something for your trouble. Thank you. Farewell, Glider. Remnants of change done. Ian says hello. We chat about Ian's work. Farewell, Glider. Alright. I'm on. I 
I make the best glass this side of the C split. Well, normally I do at least. The power cut has put my workshop completely out of commission. I need my furnace to work. It's not like casting little pots in sand. I've got a terrible backlog of orders already. Bike parts, ships, pots, architecture, you name it. Alright. So he's going to be chilling until I do something about it. It really is gorgeous, this game. Well, it's got even, even got like a Tokyo style man uh, covers for the sewage. Manhole cover. This is Rita, owner of the Overhang Cafe. Goodbye. Again, it feels kind of incomplete when you have a dialogue option like that. I quite like it when the power is off. There is a sense of peacefulness to it. Sure. Okay. Career Jotty. The power of being off means a lot of business has stopped completely, but some market traders seem to have been able to take advantage of the situation, and deliveries have been busier than ever. Ira and her kind, Iria and her kind, have always uh, seemed to know how to squeeze blood from a stone. But this feels like things have worked out too well for them. Maybe don't tell anyone I said that. Hmm. Merchants orchestrated this. Cutscene. Shimon locked silver tongue sable. The guard towers over me. I can't tell if I've somehow committed some kind of transgression as he looks me over. He seems to be contemplating a decision of sort and mutters something unintelligible under his breath. Are you planning on staring all day? He focuses on uh, he focuses on me with a look like I had been doing something covert. And how I'd like a glider to stumble clumsily into my mist. Useful, very useful. Let's make good use of you. Me? I ask him how. Well, you're a glider, by your very nature an outsider. You belong to nothing and to no one, and therefore you are capable of an uncommon objectivity. I wonder if I should share my myriad of popular, unpopular, or deeply subjective opinions, but decide to spare him. He seems to have much more to say. My name is Sandip. And I'm in the middle of a very serious investigation. There are few I can trust. You may have noticed that we find ourselves without power, yes? I like it, it's rustic. And glitchy music. It's no accident. Someone stole the power core from out of the atomic heart. And the perpetrator eludes me still. I thought perhaps you might be able to help me solve this crime and bring the thief to justice. Or maybe you'll frame me. I'll help. I've already begun to picture myself darting in and out of the shadows, tracking the elusive power thief through the city. In my mind, I am the swiftness and smoke, a creature of cunning and dexterity. Then Sandip hands me a rusted heap. This is an old power core. Scrap, really. But if you bring this to the machinist for me, he can fix it and we can get this town going again. But, while you're there, I want you to ask if he has any idea who might want to steal something like this, and why. I'd ask myself, but... People are less forthcoming with guards? You get it. I say I've made the right choice. Report back when you've taken care of it. Yes, I'll be waiting. I say goodbye to Sandy. Sure. 
You have to do something. Power's been off for days. We'll get the water back. I don't know. Useless. Uh, completely useless. How did we end up in a position where almost everything we rely on comes at, comes to a complete halt? Well, just like real life. Who did this? Have you found out who it was yet? Are we under attack? Hmm. Everyone, please remain calm. We are doing all that we can to restore power to Ecria. No, you are not. No, you're not. No, you're not. You know, no, 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 no. Uh, any more loot for me? No, seems not. Oh. Have I spoken with this person yet? No, I haven't. Okay. It's the big city. Jeez, so big. City so big. Alright. Get up on the rooftops. Ooh. That looks interesting. Makes me kind of want to take a peek, actually. Nothing up here? No goodies? Cheap. Hmm. This must be the market area then. Oops. Mm -hmm. 